The first through eighth weeks after fertilization are called the embryonic period. During the first day following fertilization, the zygote begins mitotic cell divisions called cleavage as it moves through the uterine tube. The cells formed are called blastomeres. By the fourth day after fertilization, the blastomeres have formed a solid ball, now called a morula. By day four or five, the morula enters the uterine cavity. Here, glycogen-rich secretions from the endometrial glands nourish the developing morula. The blastomeres in the morula are stimulated to rearrange themselves and form a fluid-filled hollow ball of cells known as the blastocyst. The cells continue to rearrange, forming an area of more cell layers called the inner cell mass. The blastocyst's outer layer of cells is called the trophoblast. About six days after fertilization, the blastocyst attaches to the endometrium of the uterine wall. During the second week after fertilization, the implanted blastocyst stage continues to develop. On the eighth day, the trophoblast of the blastocyst differentiates into two layers. The inner one is the cytotrophoblast layer. The outermost layer, called the syncytiotrophoblast, secretes enzymes that promote further implantation. In addition, human chorionic gonadotropin, a hormone necessary to maintain the nourishing secretions of the endometrial lining, is secreted. Also on the eighth day, the cells of the inner cell mass differentiate into two layers. Together, the hypoblast and epiblast layers form the flat bilaminar embryonic disc. During the ninth day, the epiblast cells multiply and migrate, forming the fluid-filled amniotic cavity. At the same time, the multiplying hypoblast cells begin to develop into a yolk sac. As a result, the bilaminar embryonic disc is positioned between the amnion and yolk sac. By the twelfth day, differentiation of yolk sac cells forms an extra embryonic mesoderm. The migrating yolk sac cells, as well as the syncytiotrophoblast and cytotrophoblast layers, form the chorion. The chorion grows to surround the amnion and amniotic fluid and forms the connecting stalk, which is the future umbilicus. The chorion, destined to form the embryonic part of the placenta, is important in the exchange of nutrients between maternal blood and the embryo.